Very good morning, Caleb Ministries, Wednesday, 7th of September. Worship unrestrained. I read Isaiah 37, our previous chapter, but verse 16. O Lord Almighty, God of Israel, enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. So number one, anxiety versus worship, our first bullet. When Hezekiah received a message from Isaiah that the God mocking Assyrian would be thwarted, he had a couple of options. He could continue in his anxiety or he could worship God. Only a promise that God would save Worship would be a statement of faith. Continuing anxiety would be the opposite. Our second bullet, believe God's promises to save. Hezekiah chose to worship. His heart was compliant enough to know God's war voice when he heard it. If God said he would deliver, he would deliver. The living God, the faithful and true, does not lie. So none of the reasons we lie apply to him. He has absolutely no lack of integrity. Hezekiah believed God's promise to save. Our third bullet, faith provoked. But Hezekiah did more than that. He prayed. He could have worshipped God in advance for the victory and waited for it to happen. He knew, however, that there's a difference between the promise of God and the execution of the promise. And our key is, the promise was given to provoke faith, and it still does, and it always will. Prayer, the kind that banks on the promise, not just hope that it might come true, was the natural response. God tells us what He is going to do, so that we will ask Him to do it. Hezekiah, unlike many of us, seem to understand that. And then lastly, our fourth bullet, application. A call to prayer. That dynamic of promise, then prayer, then fulfillment, this is a running theme throughout Scripture. God affirmed it to Hezekiah a few verses later, telling him that the word would be fulfilled. Because you have prayed to me concerning Sennacherib, verse 21. It's a dynamic we need to learn and relearn. The promises of God are not fatalistic guarantees. They are a call to prayer. They are intended to dispel our fears, stir up faith, and put us on our knees. Accept your call to arms. Get stirred up, pray the promises of the faithful and true God. I pray, Lord, will you place within me a spirit of prayer? For I ask you in Jesus' name, Amen.